What's going on everybody? This is Jake the Happy Snake and in this video I'm going to show you guys my entire Amiibo collection. Now this video is uh, probably going to be uh, on the longer side since I have a pretty large collection. I got in, uh, in total I have 70 Amiibos. Uh, that includes uh, doubles. Um, not, inclu not including doubles I have 68 uh, which isn't that much less. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to be showing you uh, these Amiibos uh, in order from when I uh, from when I bought them. So starting with the uh, the first one that I bought to the most recent. But anyways, let's get started here. So the first one that I bought uh, when the Amiibos first released is uh, Kirby. Uh, this well, Kirby's my um, favorite Smash Brothers character. Uh, I liked using him in all these Smash Brothers games. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm a big fan of Kirby, big fan of his games, and I thought his Amiibo looked really cool. Uh, like I said, I purchased th purchased this um, on the day that Smash Brothers Wii U came out, so that's November 21st, 2014. So yeah, that's number one. Number two is Pikachu. This is actually a Christmas gift. Number three is Yoshi. This was also a Christmas gift. Christmas 2014, that is. Next up, we have Samus. This one is um, probably in my top ten of coolest looking Amiibos. I always thought this one was really, really cool looking. I know there was a defect one where she had two cannons, which I always thought would be uh, uh, amazing to have, but all they can do is dream. Number five is Diddy Kong. I didn't really want to buy this one, but the clerk, but the clerk at the store told me that uh, that he was really rare. So I thought, okay, well I guess I'll get I'll get him while I can. And I don't think I ever saw him after that. So I'm kind of glad that I did. Next up is Mario. That was the first Amiibo in 2015 that I bought. Not like, not like any of you care. Then we have Donkey Kong. This one's pretty heavy. Which makes sense, I guess. Uh, then we have Luigi. Then we've got Zelda. And another cool looking amiibo. And then number 10 is Peach. Now, this one's a little delicate because if you can see, her stand is a little loose. Um, so that's why I try to be very careful with this one. Now these things, the, now this amiibo is really common, so it's not like that I couldn't, I can't go buy another one if it does break, but anyways, yep. There's Peach. Then okay, next up we have Bowser. I remember I bought this one early. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be released until February of 2015, and I was able to buy them like the last day of, in January, um, which I always thought was kind of strange, but yeah, this one's also very heavy, which again, makes sense. And the next one is, um, so far my only broken Amiibo, uh, Toon Link. I played a joke with my brother and I stuffed this guy in, uh, I don't know, I can't even remember what it was, it was like a box or something, my brother tipped it upside down, I didn't even know that he was inside it and he fell out and, and broke, which kind of sucked. Um, so. <laughs> But um, I tried as hard as I could to fix him, and I just couldn't. I, I've tried so hard to um, to fix him. I just never was able to, to succeed. So, but, you know, I still have him. So there we go. Okay. Now we got Link. We've got Sheik. Sonic, Mega Man, another really cool looking amiibo, um, Mario, and this one's from the um, Mario Party series, I got, I think I got all of the amiibos from that series, which kind of spoils uh, a little bit of my collection, but whatever, there's Toad, which I always thought was really cool. Uh, to have an amiibo for a character who didn't actually, it, it didn't exist in Smash Brothers. And then, 
Yeah, but my second two link, I thought, you know what, I broke the other one. I probably should buy another one just because, uh, you know, I kind of want to have one that's not broken. Um, so, yeah, this is one of the doubles that I mentioned. Next up, we have Luigi. Yoshi. Peach. And you can tell that they're from the Mario Party series because the ones from the Mario Party series have the uh, red stand. The ones from the Smash Brothers have the black stand. Okay, we got the Bowser from Mario Party. This one's very heavy. It might even be more heavy than the one from Super Smash Brothers. And here's the other double that I have. Um, Yoshi. And here's just to prove that, that I do have two of these things. Um, they were both gifts. Uh, this one was a Christmas gift. This one was a birthday gift. So I didn't actually buy either of them. So I can't really help the fact that they're, that I have doubles of those. Then we got Golden Mario. This one is very rare. Uh, I've actually found this in a store, which is unbelievable. It's only $20. So clearly the people didn't know how much it was. Or maybe it was 30 I don't even know. But anyways, it was... A lot cheaper than the way you can get it online. So, yeah, this is one of the. I think one of the, it's. It's very rare. I'm not sure if it's the. It's not. not it's not the rarest, but it's fairly rare. Uh, then we got Pac-Man. Silver Mario. I found this guy in EB Games, which is the Canadian equivalent of GameStop. Then we got uh, the Spl Splatoon um, Inkling, female, from, Spl from Splatoon, like I just said. I only bought Splatoon recently. It's a pre pretty good game, I have to say. Then I got the male one. Next up is Charizard. Now, I did kind of a funny thing. I actually have a Charmander figure. So uh, what I do is I just set Charmander top on top of the Charizard. I thought it looked kind of uh, comical. But yeah, that's that's and, uh, that's definitely one of my more favorite ones. I thought I always thought that he was really cool looking. Then we have Villager. Now this thing I found this thing inside a st at um I walked into uh EB Games when I was on summer vacation. Um and I found it, and I couldn't believe it. I found this guy, and I found the next one is Ike. I found both these guys at the same time, which was unreal because Ike. I mean, you don't really, we don't really expect to find this thing inside a, uh, just to walk into a EV Games or GameStop or whatever, and just to find Ike or Villager. I mean, those are, a lot of the Fire Emblem ones are really, really rare to come by, really hard. So um, that's why I was pretty stoked when I found those two. Next up is the. Mario Maker, 8-Bit Mario. Then we've got Dr. Mario. Then we have Olimar. This one's really cool. I like how they have the, the antenna right there. Then we got Ganondorf. Really cool. Then we got Wario. That one's more expensive for some reason. It was like thirty. And all, and all these ones I'm showing you were like twenty. So I don't really know why he was more expensive, but maybe he's more rare. I'm not sure. This is one that I was really hoping to get. That is Zero Suit Samus. Really delicate because it's really uh, thin. But this is one that I was really hoping that I would uh, come across, and I did, thankfully. Then we got Bowser Jr. really like this one as well. And then, once I show you this one, then you'll be able to guess the next couple. We've got Rob. He came in a three pack. The retro three pack. This this one's really cool looking too. A lot of the ones I'm showing you now are really, are, are actually some of my favorites. And we got Mr. Game and Watch. This one's really cool because you can like take him off and see if I can show really Quick. Take him off, and you got he comes with like other pieces, so you can like do that if you want, which is really cool. But uh, I I personally like to have it have the uh, default one. 
skip. Next up is Duck Hunt. This one is awesome. I really like this one. Uh, Duck Hunt reminds me a lot of Banjo Kazooie because I'm a huge Banjo Kazooie fan. So uh, that's why I like Duck Hunt so much. But yeah, this this figure is really cool looking. I really like this one. And then next cut the next couple are not that cool. Um, we have the, some people might not even call this one an amiibo, but this is the one from Yoshi's Woolly World. Uh, it's you know. I guess it's, it's a cool concept because it's, you know, I think that game has something to do with wool or something, so that kind of makes sense, I guess. And then, next one is the pink one. There's three in total that exist. Next up is Captain Falcon. This guy, I was, after I received Pikachu, which was my second one, I wanted to get this guy so I could get the Captain Falcon costume on Mario Kart 8. Uh, and I went looking for him, and I could not find him, and then I f finally just ordered him online, like, this past November. So he was supposed to be number three in my collection, and, he be and then he became, like, number 46? Uh, 45, actually. Yeah, number 45, which is crazy. This one's really delicate as well, so I really want to make sure that that this one does not break because it was really hard to come by. And I had, it was the first one that I ordered online. I was hoping to see how far I could get my collection without ordering online, but... You know, that's all you can do, I guess. Next up is the modern color um, 8 bit Mario. I just showed you the uh, the uh, other one uh, a few minutes ago. Then we got, and uh, I'm going to get into the Animal Crossing amiibos. I got Tom Nook. A lot of people don't really can, don't like these ones because they're not as cool as the Smash ones, which, which makes sense, but I mean. Um, I'm sure. I wonder if I see an amiibo that I do not have. I buy it because you just don't know when they c can become, you know, extremely rare or unicorn is what the really, really, really rare amiibos are known as. Anyways, there's Tom Nook. Then we got Mabel. This guy reminds me of Sonic because he got like the spikes. Then we got the uh, last of the uh, Wool Yoshi's. This is the green one. Um. Some more Animal Crossing ones. We got uh, Cyrus. I believe his name is. Then we got uh, KK Slider. And then this one. Uh, this is number 52 in my collection. I don't actually remember the name. Reese, that's the name. Okay, yeah. I couldn't remember the name, but yeah, now just came to me. Reese is the name, which is kind of funny. She doesn't really look like peanut butter cups, but. Yeah, that's her name, Reese, I think. And, uh... The next one is Fox. Got a, f got a few more Smash ones coming up here, actually. So we got Fox here. Then we got, um... These next few I got for Christmas, like these next eight or so. Maybe even more than that. We got, uh, Greninja. This guy's really cool. This guy's actually from Japan, I think. Like I said, I got this guy for Christmas, but the person that gave it to me couldn't find him in store. Or could find him, but I think he ordered before they actually was officially released in Canada and the U.S. North America, I guess I could have said. Then we got Mewtwo. This is really cool as well. Uh, next up is the Me Brawler. You can probably guess the next two. We got uh, the Me Gunner, and then the Me Swordsman. So yeah, there are all three of them. Okay, next up, almost done here. Don't worry. We got Shulk. This guy's really cool. Um, yeah, my friend actually got a Japanese one for Christmas. A lot of people that I, knew, that I know actually got, got this guy for Christmas, which is kind of interesting. Then we got Falco. Falco is actually my second best character in uh, Smash Bros. or was before Cloud came out. But um, yeah, uh, this guy, I love Falco. Falco is awesome. Now, this next amiibo might actually be my favorite amiibo of any of the ones that exist, and that is King DDD. Uh, this one is so cool looking. It's, a lot of people think it's the heaviest, but I don't actually think. I feel like this one is. But um, this Bowser one here, Mario Party one. But uh, yeah, this King DDD is awesome. I love this guy. 
Definitely one of my favorite Amiibos. I actually ordered the Meta Knight one um, a couple weeks ago. It's not supposed to come until the end of the month or early next month. Uh, so I might make a video when I get him. I don't know. I post a lot of these Amiibos on my Facebook page, which you can check out if you're on Facebook. Next one is another Animal Crossing. Uh, Blotty, I think. I don't know. I don't play Animal Crossing, so I don't really know. I just like to collect Amiibos. And then... We got Chibi Robo, which is pretty cool. Then we got the Ink Squid, I guess it's called. Um, this is the last one that I got for Christmas. I got this one from my brother, and that is Rosalina and Luma, which is actually one that I really wanted because it was the last one I needed to to um, have the entire collection of the Mario Kart 8 Amiibos. Um, so when I got this one, I was pretty happy. Yep, there's another shot of it there. Okay, now I only got five left, and four of these last five are Animal Crossing ones. Um, Blathers, I think his name is, or what I like to call... Knocked Owl. <laughs> yep. Okay, and then we got basically a female version of that one. Um, Celeste. And then we got Rossetti, I think. I don't know, could be pronouncing that wrong. And we got Kicks. Yep, and then finally, the very last one, uh, my most recent one that I purchased this past Friday, so just a few days ago, is Lucas. It's funny, I actually have Lucas, but not Ness. I hope to get Ness at some point. Um, the Amiibos online are really expensive. They're probably $30. The, the cheap ones are probably $30. Um, the Knight, the, that's how much the Meta Knight one was, and uh, I should be getting that one, like I said, in about a month. Um, but I would like to get Ness at some point, because it's, like I said, strange to own Lucas, but not Ness. So, Anyways, yeah, so that is all. Uh, that's all 70 of my Amiibos. Um, I... I mean, it's 60 di 68 different ones because I do own those two doubles, but like I said, I can't really help. I mean, the one broke, so I kind of wanted to get the one that actually isn't broken. And then, you know, the two Yoshis, I mean, I, I didn't buy I got one for Christmas, one for my birthday. So it's like, you know, you know, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's my entire collection. Um, I will definitely try to make a video when I get Meta Knight or maybe post them on the Facebook page or whatever. I'll have a link to the face for my Facebook page in the description, so you might want to check that out if you can. So anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and please uh, check out my Facebook page. Like I said, I'll have a link to that video or to that uh, page in the description below. Thanks guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Peace.